robot. Hey. robot. <laughs> That's in these fix. Industrial maintenance automation. Is it automation or maintenance? maintenance. Automation. Oh, so it's maintenance for automation. Industrial yeah. maintenance automation. Hey, robots, machines, technology, does that interest you? If so, there is a whole growing industry where you can do that as a career. You could be an industrial automotive maintenance tech. Whoa, that is a mouthful. It's a lot, and you get to play with robots and fix them, make sure everything works. And you can learn how to do that right here in our region at Ivy Tech. How cool would it be to go and listen to an alumni who is currently working in this field, repairing robots, and is extremely successful at it? And remember, they did get their degree from Ivy Tech Community College. Okay, my name is Ray Campbell. I work here at the Manchester Tank Plant in Elkhart, Indiana. I'm maintenance and uh, industrial electrical certified from Ivy Tech. My role here is a senior maintenance level employee. Um, I troubleshoot electrical, mechanical, pneumatics, hydraulics. It's well-rounded. As a maintenance worker, you want to have a little electrical skills. You want to have a little air, which is pneumatic skills and know a little bit about presses, hydraulics, and have that passion and drive to keep you going and want to keep learning and doing more and more. How did you first become interested in this job or industry? <laughs> well, I started off in production, as just a production worker making $10 an hour, and then I watched the old guy, this, all that knowledge was finna walk out of the place I was at. So I started hanging with him, learning what 3 eighths quarter inches was, learning what an open end box wrench is, and that fire just lit in me. I kept going and kept going and wanted to know more and more. Basically, I'm curious, a curious person and love taking something apart and see what makes it tick. Then I came to Manchester Tank. I wanted to expand my schooling because I have an associate's and a bachelor's from Ball State. But that's in ISOM Information Systems Operation Management and Criminal Justice. I don't use it. So once I came to Manchester Tank, they offered me to go to Ivy Tech, a trade school, and electrical go hand in hand with the mechanical skills. Why did you choose your career? Okay, I chose to be maintenance because I was always working on a bike as a kid. Uh, those little mechanical skills, I've always been mechanically inclined. Changing oil in there, sharpening the lawnmower blades with my dad out in the garage. I didn't choose it, it kind of chose me. You want to love your job and have a passion. And that's, uh, that's self-fulfilling when you can set and fix a machine, go up to somebody, take care of their problem, whether it be just the bearings is going bad in, in a cylinder or something, and you put new bearings on and made that person's life, his whole eight hour shift, that much easier, that gives me some self-fulfillment on a part of it too, the smile at the end of the day. Once I went to Ivy Tech and I checked out the lab and Natalie Medovich, it was pretty much hands-on in class. You had a workshop, you had electrical boards, everything that I was working at work I had there. Now, yeah, you sit down and read the schematics and read the manuals and everything, so you need that aspect of it. But you also need to know how to put a seal in a cylinder, how to get your hands dirty and to be effective. What does a typical day look like? Oh, cool. Typical day. Okay, you have, you come in, you got your list of things. Might be PMs, PM is, is preventative maintenance. Grease inserts, check the belts, check the hydraulic oil level. I'm answering calls on the radio. You, as maintenance, you might get take lunch at 10, you might not take lunch till one. But that's the flexibility about you for the, the better of the company. I pulled a lot from my dad. I watched my dad as a hard worker. He came to Manchester Tank every day for 10 years, came home with the big shiny red coat. He taught me how to work on houses. We did construction, we cut trees down. He taught me work ethic. Every day I watched him bust his butt. You don't let nobody take your motivation and your drive away. You try to have that instilled within you as a youngster, but if you don't, you find your passion. You try to find your passion and just give it your all. And God, I pray. I came here and it's been a tremendous experience. The creativeness, especially continuous improvement, man. You, you come up with a concept, you know, you sit down, draw it down, draw it out on a piece of paper, whether it's just a simple conveyor I'm making, I draw it on a piece of paper, and then that concept, then you get to see that come in life. Because now I'm ordering steel and putting rollers in and measuring. So that passion of part of my job has been fun.
going to college or whether you're going to a trade school, that's not going to guarantee you a salary or guarantee you a job. Yeah, it'll get you a start and get you through the door, but your hard work and your dedication and your drive and your willingness to do it and to be the bottom man on the totem pole until you work your way up, that's what's going to keep you striving forward and keep you moving. We need young guys in the industry and females in the industry. Go to the IT tech school and get that under your belt. Starting off, you have to work your way up. Don't give up.